Hello? Dave? Yeah. I'm at the airport and I cannot leave America without saying goodbye to you and expressing to you my deepest gratitude. Look, uh, our prayers are always with you. And all I can say is you remember that uh, the words from you and uh, anything you want to is in your fingertips for me, okay? Yeah. There's no limit to what uh, I will do for you if you need some help. But uh, at this moment, we are praying for you that uh, for your safety and success and uh, freedom of the people, okay? Okay. Uh, <coughs> tell Francis I received the Ariana. Oh, uh, wonderful. And uh, we enjoyed them. Wonderful. And tell her we love her. Okay, my God. Uh, I just wish I was with you right there, you know, but... Uh, I'm with you in spirit and in prayer. Um, okay, now this is the latest thing that I can give you. Yeah. My source is Cardinal Sin. Yes. Number one, Marcos checked in at the kidney center. Yes. The expert went, saw him, they did the test, he flunked all tests, and the conclusion was if they operate on him, it would be fatal. Uh huh. So he went back to the palace. He's no longer responding to medication, and he will have to be hooked up to the dialysis machine now more often. Okay. How he will last with that machine on, I don't know. Mm -hmm. then, apparently, uh, they are now moving to put him in Imelda, in effective okay. control. Yeah. And they are going to revamp the cabinet with Ong Pin, most probably emerging as prime minister and finance minister. Sanjinko mm Huanko -hmm. or their defense minister. Yeah. Or the corpus, possibly foreign minister, and uh, maybe Ayala, I mean, uh, Enrique, maybe agricultural minister, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But there's a major shake-up. Marcos met with his generals and apparently said goodbye to them uh, last Friday. Yeah. He was on television in Manila 24 hours ago, right. commenting on the boxing fight of Navarrete and, uh, and Salford to right. show the people that he's okay. Right, right. But uh -huh. it's a matter of time, so he wanted three weeks to collect his thoughts, write his memoir, complete his book, and most probably uh, craft the final stages of his uh, administration. Mm -hmm. He's a man now, uh, terminal, he knows he's going, and uh, that's the background uh, that I'm coming in. Well, the, uh, I heard some of this yesterday, yes. after, after uh, Demo TV, I got some reports that are uh, not, of course, as uh, authoritative as yours, but uh, pretty much the same, that something was wrong and uh, they couldn't uh, operate and so forth. At any rate, the thought that comes to mind is that uh, uh, this is good and bad. The good and that if he's going and he knows it, he might uh, show some compassion for the country and, and uh, treat your return with more uh, pragmatic, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, thinking, I hope. Uh, yes. And that, that's the good part. The bad part, maybe, is that uh, the hardliners like there were bulldogs without any political cover, uh, who may think that uh, the next in line, uh, obviously, that people would look at your return very... Uh, uh, well, there are two reports I receive along the line. It's not too much time. That's yeah. what I'm worried about. Well, if they pinpoint the plane I'm coming in, the rumor in Manila is that I'm taking the private jet of, of Enrique yes. from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, all, all planes are being guarded, and they, they may close the airport on Sunday or yeah. turn back the plane if they will be able to pinpoint which one I'm coming in. Yeah. The third one, and this is the real easy, uh, there are two guys uh, stationed to knock me out of the airport. And they will try them for murder. They'll convict them, but they have assurances. Uh, that's what uh, that's what we think about that. Yeah, that's the those those are the things that uh, yeah. that I've been alerted. So uh, I don't know uh, what options they will do now, but uh, I am uh, I am meeting with ASEAN leaders beginning Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh -huh. Indonesia, to hard to my uh Malaysia is already firm, mm -hmm. and Thailand. It's just about fear. Mm -hmm. Now, Japan has sent word that uh, if Imelda is in play, Nakasone is willing to use his economic clout. Oh, really? Yeah. To yeah. so tell Imelda that if you treat Aquino nicely, we can dialogue. Oh, that's good news. Uh, yeah. That's the best news I got from Japan. That's damn good news. Nakasone is willing to send a private envoy, a secret private envoy, with a personal letter 
making a plea for me, if I am still alive and in prison, that if they will treat me gently and uh, come up with some kind of an understanding, Japanese economic assistance will continue. Because they are very upside that if a woman takes over and they'll be chaos, you know, will yeah. be bad. Now, the ASEAN leaders, on the other hand, feel this way. ASEAN today is already one region. And any instability in one part of ASEAN will scare investors in the entire region. Right. That's why they are very, very uptight about the possibility of the chaos and instability to finish in Simelda. Mm -hmm. And that is the background of, of my conversation with them, that I am not going to accept the Abu card, but that we can harmonize our, our movement. Now, to what extent they would be able to mitigate the hard, hard liners, I don't know. That's the chance of the If I survive, Sunday, and I get to prison, and I'm there in a week's time, I can get the, the work going. I'm yeah. picking up a letter from Norma Suari telling them that if the government will trust me as a negotiator, then they can start talks again. But they will not talk to anybody else. It no sounds to me like you have uh, an awful lot of pluses on your side. Right. So those, are, those, are the, those are the trump cards I'm bringing home, which of course can be negated if one character just blow me out. Yeah, they are. If, I, if I get into my prison, there's no doubt, like 100%, I will be brought directly to prison. I may not even get a chance to talk to anybody yeah. there on the ground. But yeah. it's okay. As long as I'm alive and in prison, I can start using my plum card. I will try to hold out for a meeting with Marcos. Now that he's about to meet his nature, I am almost confident that I can talk to him and, and tell him something. Although the Cardinal tells me that you think you can sell Marcos a bill of goods like return democracy to electoral processes, forget it. You're dreaming. He's no longer in that state. Yeah. This is the Cardinal's idea. I don't buy it because I don't think that a man who is about to die would be, you know, too hard-headed. Well, I, just a, a, an input or an opinion here. I hope you are right, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think the Cardinal is right. I think Marcos not only because he doesn't want to bring that academic at the point of time, but I think he has just, it's so deep in there, he has no choice but to stay where he is and leave things as they are. And uh, certainly we are hopeful that that's wrong because we don't want that. Okay. So goodbye, Steve. One, one last question. Yes. Uh, any, whatsoever, any indication from the U.S. side that there might be uh, somewhat helpful or cooperative or no. absolutely nothing? No indication, except that they're watching me. Of course. They are uh, following all my steps. Yeah. But I'm still hopeful that uh, sanity will prevail and they will know that uh, eventually they'll have to come to talk. Right. Because I don't think they're very happy with the woman running the show. Right, right. Okay, my love to okay. present the children. Okay, then. Yes. God be with you. Thank you. Enjoy, huh? Bye-bye. Okay, bye.